Papa, Annie's woke me up. Annie's woke me up. Mom, wake up, wake up, Annie's crying. What's the matter, my darling? What's wrong? Does your head hurt? Ah, oh, there's no fever. Does it hurt here? Go and get dressed. I'll stay with her. What if she's inherited my wretched digestion? She'll be fine. <laughs> Poor dear. What did he say? It is her stomach, but he has no idea what's wrong. Perhaps I should take her to go see Dr. Gully. He cured me. You'll be back soon, and Papa will look after you. Soon there's going to be a new baby, and I shall need your help. Say goodbye to Etty now. so weak. Isn't there anything you can do? All you can do is pray. It's my fault. First cousin marriages always produce weak children. It's my fault. Bilious fever with a typhoid character. The Lord gives, and the Lord takes away.
What Annie's death did to Darwin's faith was mainly to destroy Christianity. He could no longer see that a good God ordered and superintended all of the events of human life and of the universe. And he believed that she did not deserve punishment by God or by nature either. She had simply fallen victim to the struggle for existence, the amoral, purposeless struggle that ran according to laws of nature. Darwin certainly didn't think that evolution spoke either for or against the unprovable existence of God or a form of God. He didn't desire to cast disparagement on anyone's religious convictions. He regarded it as a private matter, which he was never able to hold with conventional zeal following the tragedy of his life. Today, scientists hold all conceivable views on religion, from atheism to agnosticism to a general spirituality. And many, like biologist Ken Miller, adhere to very traditional beliefs. I'm an orthodox Catholic, and I'm an orthodox Darwinist. My idea of God is a supreme being who acts in concert with the principles and the ideas that Darwin explained to us about the origin of species. My students often ask me, you say you believe in God, well, what kind of God? Is it a, a fashionable New Age God, a pyramid power kind of God? Do you think, like some scientists do, that God is the sum total of the laws of physics? And I shake those off and say that my religious belief is entirely conventional. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy it surprises students very often that anyone could say that that kind of very traditional, conventional religious belief could be compatible with evolution. But it is. I find this absolutely wonderful consistency with what I understand about the universe from science and what I understand about the universe from faith. Tennessee's premier morning radio talk show, the Halloran Hilton Hill Morning Show on News Talk 99.